Riding a motorcycle is easier than you might suspect. To get on, simply walk up and activate it. Hit activate again to dismount. Hit the forward key to accelerate, backward to brake, and the left to brake. If Dr. Schenker is indeed being held in this secret underground research facility in North America, it's a safe bet he won't be there for long once harm figures out what you're up to. The first step is to identify and detain the American Railways conspirator so that we can interrogate him. You will then need to locate the hidden entrance to the facility, find Dr. Schenker, and get him out alive. Without him, we're doomed. Have you seen anything suspicious? Like what? There's a spy aboard this train. Are you sure? I am. How do you know? I have my sources. That doesn't really answer my question. Let's just say I heard it from a little birdie that someone's been poking around, nosing for information about our obliging engineer friend. Oh. We don't want that information falling into the wrong hands, do we? Well, I haven't seen any spies. If you do, let me know. We don't tolerate spies. I'll keep an eye out. See that you do. Moron. Did you say something? What? I could have sworn I just heard you call me a Mormon. Why would I call you a Mormon? I have no idea. Do you have something against Mormons? No. Then why are we having this conversation? Hey. Someone there? I don't know. See you later then. Count on it. Why? Because I'm not. What's wrong? If we had taken a plane, we would have been there yesterday morning. Instead, we're still stuck in this sardine can. That was a great you know supper. Did you have the chicken or the fish? And you know how I feel about long, boring train rides because we do this every time we go anywhere. Sorry. Next time you can fly and I'll ride the train. Can we travel separately? Why not? You, you don't like traveling with me? Sure, but I want you to be happy. You're just trying to get rid of me, aren't you? Tickets, please. Honey, calm down. You probably just want to have an affair with some train riding hussy. Don't be silly. Tickets, please. I'm on my way to visit my mother in Portland. I can't Tickets, think please. of a better way to travel. Can you? Please. 
I love riding the train. Tickets, please.
it just you, or is it hot in here? Either way, I think you need a cold shower. Kind of half-wit comes up with these code phrases anyway. I know what you mean. What do you have for me? Looks like the assistant engineer has been acting low. Crew compartments are all the way at the front of the train. You should be able to find him there, since his shift doesn't start for another half hour. Perfect. you no please don't hurt me that should keep you out of trouble for a spell
Is that a caboose? Yup. What do you think it's doing out here? Not sure. Should we report it? Probably. Maybe we should check it out first. Okay. Then what use are you?
Stay alert. There's been some trouble upstairs. What kind of trouble? Spy trouble. How do you know? That's just what they told me. I'd like to see a spy try to get in here. Well, make sure you're ready just in case one does.
It is not. Expect the solution. <laughs> Kimmel, you're alive? More or less. But I saw you fall out of the plane without a parachute. Oh, that. Well, someone loaned me one on the way down. Very generous of him. Anyway, I thought I'd drop by and see if you'd like to get out of here. I would indeed. If I had known I'd end up in a place like this, I never would have left Berlin. But I suppose that was part of the plan. What do you mean? 
It seems we have been carefully manipulated by harm all along. My decision to defect and your organization's decision to aid me were part of an intricate scheme. I have overheard my captors discussing the matter. Harm wanted my research, but they didn't want to draw attention to themselves in order to get it. So they let us do the dirty work? Precisely. I was approached by one of their agents, who filled my head with tantalizing stories of the West and the freedom I would find there should I defect. He took care of the arrangements, knowing full well that I would end up here. Ingenious. Their only mistake was to underestimate us.
doors. Doors. Although the rescue of Dr. Schenker was absolutely imperative if Unity were to have even the merest hope of victory, it comes at a grievous cost. There is much still to accomplish, but very little time in which to do so. This morning, at exactly 9.02 a.m., there was an explosion of unknown origin in the town of Schilling, England. That's where the Baroness grew up. Well, case closed. Arrest her immediately. Scoff all you please. The source of this blast was a banker by the name of Lester Cheems. Casualties are estimated at over 1,300 innocent people. Their blood is on the hands of the agency responsible for kidnapping Dr. Otto Schenker from us. Until he is returned to the facility from which he was abducted, we shall continue to mete out similar punishments every 48 hours. That is all. Those figures are correct, by the way. 1,300 people. I suppose we can assume harm is capable of delivering on its threats. Indeed, which means we have exactly two days to complete our objectives. Can we have records and research find out if this Lester Cheems ever knew Felicity Farnsworth? I suppose, although I can't see that it will prove anything. You never know. Well, I for one am reticent to implicate a respected public figure on the basis of mere coincidence. You call it coincidence. I call it circumstantial evidence. Knowing the victim of a crime hardly qualifies as circumstantial evidence. That depends on the victim, the crime, and the circumstances, doesn't it? Enough of this bickering. Send in Dr. Schenker, if you please. Ah, here you are. Thank you for joining us, Doctor. I hope your accommodations are adequate. Exceptional, thank you. Hello again, Miss Archer. Hello, Doctor. I'm sorry there wasn't time to brief you sooner. But I imagine you've already heard about this morning's disaster. I have. Then I'm sure you can understand the need for alacrity in devising a plan of action. Harm has promised another attack within the next 48 hours unless we hand you over, which imposes a rather daunting deadline. How can I help? We need to know who Harm has infected with the reagent. 
and we need the antidote. Unfortunately, I cannot help you with the first problem. I was never told how the reagent was being used or on whom. I'm afraid it would not make much difference, even if I had. I'm terrible with names, you see. What about the antidote? Ah, yes, that is also a problem. You see, the antidote is highly unstable, and can therefore only be produced in a zero-gravity environment. You mean outer space? Quite so. So in other words, harm was lying about having the antidote? Not true. They do have it. So they stole it? They developed it. But how is that possible? Harm has its own space program. That's preposterous. Not necessarily. A few weeks ago, the U.S. branch reported an unscheduled rocket launch from a small tropical island off the coast of Mandaru. Are you sure it wasn't the Soviets? It's certainly possible, although we have plenty of spies in the Soviet Union and none could confirm a launch. This is starting to sound like circumstantial evidence, Mr. Smith. Agreed, but it's the only lead we have. If it is harm, I certainly can't explain where the funding and materials are coming from. Maybe the Soviets are involved. At the moment, all that matters is that we get our hands on that antidote. Very well. Archer, your job will be to locate and infiltrate the launch facility and recover a sufficient quantity of the antidote for our purposes. Assuming this is even the right place? Yes. Understood. We'll give you a radio frequency to use in case you need to contact us. Your code name will be Fox Hunt. Ours is Fox Hound. Did Bruno tell you that story? Yes, he did. What story? When Archer was a girl, her father took her on a fox hunt. The fox got away. Fascinating, but I fail to see the relevance. In her other occupation, Archer was known as the fox. As Bruno told it, you were so impressed with the fox's escape from such a dire predicament, you adopted it as a personal symbol. Is that right? Something like that. That sort of resourcefulness would certainly serve us well right about now. What an amusing anecdote. Shall we take turns telling stories? Or shall we get back to the mission at hand? When do I leave? As soon as possible. Let's just hope I find myself in harm's way, if you take my meaning. If we're wrong about this, there will be hell to pay. Good luck, Archer. We're counting on you. <laughs>